which I thought was a cave, but just ended up being a plain old house. Alright, so we'll heal our Pokemon, and get the hell out of here. Alright, excuse me, old man. There we go. Yeah, sorry about the lag, guys. I hope it's not too bad. Behind the waterfall. Oh, I didn't even see that. What the hell? I've never seen this place here in my whole life. Oh, it's you, Fitz. I guess you found this place just like I did. I tried to follow Sensei, and I saw him disappear behind the waterfall. I followed that path until suddenly I was here. Sensei must be up ahead. Will you help me search for him? Thanks a ton. I know with us together we can find him. Okay. Whatever you say, girl. Alright, so we'll definitely be on the lookout for Pokemon. And I might edit some of this out. We'll see. If it gets to be too much. I don't know if we're going to have battles here or what. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use Onix. Certainly not using Sandshrew. But we should be able to escape. And she's got a Lucha too. Alright, the heat is intense in this cave. Interesting. I wonder why. Must be a hot spring or something. We got a Torkoal over here. Sorry about that frame skipping. Let's see what he has to say. Do you want to give Torkoal the gourmet treat? Yeah, sure. That's why we bought them. Uh, sure. Okay, so we can catch these rogue Pokemon. I think they have their hidden abilities. I think that's the point. And... I don't know what Torkoal's hidden ability actually is, but... I guess we'll find out. It's level 28. It's like Flannery's Torkoal. Alright, we'll fake out. And I guess we can Vital Throw. Oh, we get burned by the field? That's obnoxious. Alright, he's gonna smoke screen. Just as obnoxious as the heat hurting me. Alright, we catch it on like our fourth or fifth try. Not too bad. And hopefully our partner here will heal us up soon. We'll check out Torkoal, uh, or I'll check it out between episodes and see if it's worth having. If it has a good nature and IVs or whatnot. I, I think they show IVs in the stats in this game. I'm not sure. Maybe not, actually. I haven't seen them. Alright, so we'll run into a few more Pokemon. Now we can continue on our way and find Sensei. Alright, so we had a little earthquake or something there. What the heck is that tentacle thing? Oh, we saw that on the boat earlier. It's horrifying. Let's keep going. Okay. So we saw that in the first episode, actually, when our mom was abducted. So that's not a good sign. What is that? Uh-oh. What is that? Beep bop beep bop boop. Hello, I'm a security enhancer component, but you may call me Sec. I was placed under the authority of the subject Medellis. Are you also members of Team Zen? Team Zen? Voice recognition activated, activated now analyzing. Please hold. Pretty sure I just screwed ourselves at out of getting through here without any problems. Okay, why did the sensei come back here? Warning, warning. Okay. Intruder, 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 intruder. Okay. How could you do this to Sec? Sec was about to give you complimentary Team Zen pudding. You anger Sec. Sec angry. Uh-oh. Maybe we should just get out of your way then? Too late. Sec is already threatened. Sec enraged. What is this monster? PN, watch out. Okay. What is going on now? So this tentacle thing is a computer? Oh my god, what the hell? He sent out a Tangela? Okay. It's a shadow Tangela, so we can catch it. We can try to catch it. Uh, we already have a grass type, so I'm probably not going to use Tangrowth, but we'll see. Probably won't be too easy to catch if it's getting hurt by the field. So let's knock off. Shouldn't do too much. Shadow Rave does a lot, though. Alright, that should be perfect. We have one or two chances to catch this thing. 
Alright, so we have our last chance here. Let's see if a great ball will capture this thing. Okay, that's fine. So it'll take itself out. And we won't lose any sleep over it, to be honest. So bye-bye, Tangela. Torkoal gets a little bit of experience, which I guess is a good thing. And we defeat Security Drone SEC. Like the football conference. Alright, malfunctioning. How could you do this to SEC? Have you no heart? Okay. So, are we good to go? That was pretty strange, not gonna lie. Although I've never seen a Pokemon like that before. It's because it's not a Pokemon. It could speak English. What? Shadow Pokemon? Can't say I've heard of what they are. Um, you have to explain the rest later. We have to go find the Sensei. Alright, so Sensei... I think has some knowledge of Shadow Pokemon. What the hell happened? I don't know, man. An old guy just came in and kicked me straight in the face. An old man. Sensei did come through here then. Okay. What the hell? What are your kids doing in here? Who opened the entrance? Or excuse our intrusion, I suppose, but that old man you saw, he went through here, right? And if he did, why would we even tell filth like yourselves that? We don't have any business, you don't have any business to be in here. I guess we'll have to knock the answer out ourselves. Sorry, but I already got kicked in the face today. You can take care of this. Fine. Okay. Maybe this will teach you to walk into place you shouldn't. All right. It looks like the one that's blonde is like a girl, so I'm surprised Sensei would kick her in the face, but I guess he's pretty malicious. This guy's got a Nummel and a Magby. Good to know. So I'm going to let Halucha pretty much take care of this. We're going to fake out Nummel. I don't want to get burned by Magby. Or maybe we have guts. We might have guts. Either way. Scald gets weakened? That's dumb. In the heat? Alright, we'll vital throw. And he's gonna target Halucha. Fine. We're gonna take care of him pretty easily. Alright. Let's see, how many grunts are we going to have to take on? So this episode could get long pretty quick. That's for sure. Let's see, come on computer, there we go. Yeah, I think it's time we skedaddle, right. We don't have anything to take these two on with, alright. Fair enough. Wait, you didn't give me an answer. Ugh, whatever, we'll catch up with them eventually. Okay. I guess we can just take on a double battle. Instead, we will run into a wild Pokemon. I was kind of expecting to run into a shiny soon, but we've already run into a lot of shinies so far. Alright. But it is pretty good odds to catch them in this game. So let's see. I think if you can go any farther, you're... If you think you can go any farther, you're sadly mistaken. Okay. Whatever. Ugh, it sucks to be positioned in a volcano. Yeah. You're telling me. I wouldn't have joined Team Zen if that were the case. Got Melly and Sarah. Got a lot of Pokemon here. Graveler and Whirlipede. Alright, so hopefully Halucha can just go ham on these fools. We're going to fake out... Whirlipede. Seems like the bigger threat. Alrighty. So everyone's gonna get burned by the field. Whirlipede's gonna take a lot of damage. And we can Vital Throw Graveler. So this is working out pretty well. I actually, for some reason, thought Whirlipede was Steel-type. But it's poison. Bug. Alright, Scrope's out next. And we are going to go for a Vital Throw and hopefully knock out Graveler. There we go. Halucha can take care of Scrope for us. And we'll take care of Omanyte. Alright, Vital Throw. 
I don't know why you would feather dance Skrelp, but okay. Whatever, I won't question it. Ammonite goes down. We got Slugma. Taking a lot of damage here. Let's go for another Vital Throw. We could get taken out here, depending on who he targets. Oh, we actually live it. Wow. Alright. We're trying to learn Belly Drum. That's quite interesting. I don't know how much we need Arm Thrust. So yeah, let's take it. Maybe if we get like Mach Punch or something, it'd be useful. Uh, we'll switch in Jesse. Doesn't take damage from the ground. So we'll just let Halucha take care of this. Oh, we actually KO'd with Assurance. I didn't expect that. Okay. There we go. I guess I made a fool out of myself. Want to trade places? No thanks. I don't think you should be saying that too loud. I think Team Zen or that computer thing will kill you. Probably. It's too bad I don't have enough money for repels. Alright, so that item ball is a red shard. First digit is 2 times 3 minus 4, 2. Okay. Remember that, everybody. 2. Alright, I'm guessing we'll have like three or four numbers we have to memorize. Great, it looks like we won't be able to make it any further. No, I won't give up so easily. We have to find a way around this moat of, of magma. Wait, it's hard to see, but the ceiling has stalactites hanging down. Okay, do you see those shadows? Those shadows indicate stalactites above us. Maybe we can knock those into the lava to create footing for us? What about that pillar over there? Okay. What about it? This pillar? What is she talking about? Oh, okay. So it wasn't the other pillar, it was this pillar? I literally clicked on like every single thing in this room. Alright, it seems like this pillar is connected to the ceiling. Wanna use Rock Smash, sure. That's silly. Alright, she should have given me better directions. You hear a plump sound. Okay, fine. Well, that's not enough. Alright, well that was confusing as anything. We had to hit the same pillar three times to make that work. So I don't know what that is about. It should have been like three different pillars, but whatever. Alright, that took me way longer than it should have. Alright, let's just find the sensei guy and get the heck out of here. Not enjoying my time here. <laughs> I mean, this this part of what makes these RPG XP games kind of annoying, because the caves are so long, wild encounter rates are insane. Uh, but we got another trainer here. I'm guessing this will be more like an admin. Why don't you two just burn? Jeez. That's a little... Feisty. Alrighty. That escalated from 0 to 10 real quick. Alright, let's see. We got Allison here with just one L. I don't think I've ever seen someone spell it like that before. But she's got a couple of ancients. Uh, so we'll attack Little Leap. Or, yeah, we'll fake out Little Leap and then will Vital throw it. Let's see what Halucha does. Okay, Aerial Ace, that works. And... Everyone's gonna take some damage besides Halucha. And now we can Vital throw. So, Anerith goes down. The leap goes for Ingrain, that's fine. Vital throw should KO. There we go. That was easy. If she had fully evolved versions of those Pokemon, it might be a little more difficult. Looks like I got burned up already. <laughs> I don't know why you go with stupid puns after you just told us to die in a fire. Literally. Alright. 
I figured it'd be locked because it had a big X on the thing, but I guess that's just Team Zen. Alright, I guess we can go to floor three. Alrighty. Oh, okay, we have a little puzzle here, I guess. But before that, we have to take on wild Pokemon. Great. I've seen the same Pokemon every single time. I expected a lot more variety in this cave, but like the best fire type we ran into was... Is there... There must be a hidden item over there? Whatever, I don't care. Um... The best thing we've run into was like... Uh, the best fire type we've run into is like, uh... What's it called? Panseer. Which is a pretty crappy Pokemon. Okay, we can cross that. Didn't look like it was letting me at first. We need this sign, so... Oh, we can actually run into wild Pokemon like this? Our friend is just, like, dying in the fire each time we move. Alright, third digit is... What is the total amount of Pokemon a trainer can carry? Six. Alright. Hopefully we didn't not see the second one. That would kind of stink. Okay, we'll just keep going down, I guess. Oh, we need to hit a pillar. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it's this one that we just rock smash a few times. Okay, so we've gotten two of the pillars to knock down. We gotta take on these people whenever they wanna talk to us and I'm guessing the pillar last pillar is over here somewhere and hopefully we can find another digit the second digit or else we'll just be guessing it a few times see if we can get it right just by guessing we have a two and a six so far and we're gonna be taking on a sand slash and a flachinder fair enough I will fake out Flachinder. Halucha's gonna use Bounce. Sand Slash goes for Sword Stance. That's not good. Alright, I guess we can Vital Throw it then. And Flachinder goes for Wing Attack and misses. I didn't know that could even happen. Gets paralyzed good. It's actually going to go for Dig on us, which is quite, quite annoying, but uh, we're actually going to switch into Jesse now, so we don't want to take any Sand Slash's stupidity. Unfortunately, Halucha's going to go for Bounce on Flitchinder. I didn't really want that. Uh, we get Wing Attacks, so that's fine. I don't really care about Flitchinder at the moment. It's not really doing any harm to us. And we don't get the or poison or anything on it. I guess I'll kill Flitchinder. It's doing some damage, I guess. Alright, we went for Assurance. What is? What are they going to bring out next? Growlithe, alright. Fair enough. We do take an Intimidate. Fine. Sand Slash is going to Sword Stance again. Hopefully Halucha targets it, because I can't really do anything to it. Although it is getting burned by the field. Alright, Growlithe is going to get taken out here most likely. Yep. And she has a Combuskin. Alrighty. Growlithe goes down and didn't even get to attack. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a sledge, I guess. And we're gonna get taken out there. Let's see what Combuskin does. Go out and back into Brawla. And Strength. Not gonna kill Sandslash, but the field will. 
And it looks like we have another Pokemon going here. Combuskin actually has speed boost. Interesting. Alright, we'll fake out. Let Combuskin do some work. And... It's gonna hit the Blaze Kick and that'll kill Doug Trio easily. That would kill six Doug Trios. So there we go, we defeated Jesse and... Was it Jesse and James or just Jesse and someone else? Just cheating on James. Alright, so let's find that last pillar already. This is taking way too long. Uh, we can't go that way. I suppose. Uh, which way do we go? Can't jump that? Come on, man. Where are your hops? There we go. Alright. So, this place would be unbearable if we didn't get healed up after each battle. Never thought I'd see a kid in a place like this. Well, now you have two kids. What are you gonna do about it? Seems like kids just run this place. Like, Venom was just running that city we were in. Just kind of a badass. Alright, so hopefully Halucha will target Ivysaur. Let's hope. Trap Inch is not a threat at all. So I'm just gonna fake out Ivysaur. I don't want to get seated or anything like that. And Ivysaur will get taken out. That worked out well. Humpkaboo. Okay. Weird choice, but... I respect it. So we'll just Vital Throw uh, Trapinch here. And take some hits, I guess. So Halucha at least is targeting the right Pokemon. It's always nice. We're gonna take a Bulldoze. Lower our speed, we have lowered accuracy. I thought Bulldoze only hits one Pokemon. Huh. I'm surprised that's not used like in VGC like Icing Wind is. I guess it wouldn't be that great. So let's just knock off. And it should kill Baltoy. That was a crit. <laughs> we got confused. That's annoying. We are gonna hit anyway. Baltoy does go down. So there we go. This turned out from like a short episode to like one of the longest ever. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna rock smash this pillar here. And I'll meet you guys back where I was. Alright, so now, with the help of the stalactites and the ingenuity of our friend here, we are able to get past this place. And it looks like we're gonna have another encounter with, uh, what was it, Sec or Sac? Something like that. <laughs> Initializing scanning, warning, intruder. Okay. Battle mode on. Alright, I'm guessing it'll be harder than a Tangle this time. Maybe a tentacruel. I don't know. Corefish. That doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, why is this guy so weak? I expected we'd be battling the actual thing. And it would be like insanely powerful, but this is too simple. To be honest. It's gonna harden. Are you kidding me? That's really the best you have? Harden core fish. All right. So hopefully we get a boss battle in here, because this seems kind of silly. Uh, okay, malfunctioning. How could you do this to Sec again? Have you no heart? Blah blah blah. All right. He just seems like an idiot. Worst AI ever. All right, we got another elevator here, and we'll go to f uh, floor four of the Keratos Mountain. Alright, if there's any more floors, I'm going to be upset. Alright, we got a scientist. Hey, you. We aren't leaving until you give us some answers. Hmm? Oh, it's you two. What? You're talking like you knew who we were. Well, if, why, of course. 
I've been watching you on this monitor the whole time. You two are quite confident trainers, aren't you? What do you get from spying on us? A lot more than you'd think. You're looking for the man with the dark hair, correct? Sensei, yes, I am. I know where he is, but you're going to have to find him on your own. Why don't you... Why won't you all just tell us? I just need to know what he's doing in here. Foolish girl, is that what you truly want? If that is the case, I'll have to decline your wishes. But why? I have to shut down every elevator that is positioned in this mountain. Needless enough to say that you're trapped here. Why, why are you doing this? Because I must do what I must to protect the foundation of what we are trying to accomplish. If you truly believe your ideals are strongest, then you must find your own path. That is the only way to truly and fully accomplish anything. Fine, Fitz. And I, Fitz and I will find a way out of this and we'll show you that our ideals are strongest. We won't stop until we crush each and every one of you here. I promise you that. Glad to know. Now you're wasting time. Find your own way. Okay. This guy seems like Colrus, to be honest. Like... He's kind of helping us out. He's not helping us out, but he's not trying to stop us either. D uh, second digit is 5 times 5 minus 20. That is 5. 256. It's a binary thing, I guess. Oh, can't use elevators. <laughs> Duh. Uh, let's just hack your machine then. I guess we can rock smash the stalactites. Okay. So we're breaking his computer. That seems like an asshole move. And he doesn't seem too upset about it. Okay. Are we committing suicide by doing this? Oh, 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 the machine was destroyed. Bravo, I say, bravo. The elevator should be up and running once again. Your ideals truly shine through. Great job, Fitz. Let's keep going. Okay. What is going on? I got 50 mi minutes of raw footage here. Alright, so we're on floor 5 now. There's a floor 6 gonna be upset. Alright, let's use another repel. Alright, there's a last digit. Are you kidding me? What number was repeated the most? Is this a joke? It's either seven or three. Let's see, how many threes are there? I'm gonna go with seven. Could be three, four, or two. In that order, I think. It's probably seven. That makes sense, I guess. Alright, we got Sec again here. Hello, my name is Sec. What's that? You need to pass? Sec will let you pass if you give the sec, sec the password. Okay. So we got two, five, six, and seven. Hopefully. Yeah, we got it. That is correct. You made it leave now. What do you mean this is so unfair? Life is unfair. Oh, you want to see the manager? I am the manager. What? Why are you so stupid? No, stop talking to me. Why you, must you pester? Did I get it wrong? Enough. SCC can't take it anymore. Battle mode. And, oh, okay. I figured if we had the password, we could get through. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just might as well not have even collected the password. So we got a toxic croak. At least that's better than the previous two. Corefish and Tangela. And we can't really take this thing on with Brawla. But the heat should be destroying Toxicroak with Dry Skim. Let's see if it does more extra damage. No. Huh. 
Well, that's stupid. Let's go into Batman. He's gonna go for Shadow Blitz. Even though he doesn't look like a Shadow Pokemon at all. That's dumb. Alright, well, we'll take him out eventually. This won't be too hard. It's getting hurt by the field, hyper mode, everything. Uh, assurance? No, sludge would do more, I think. Let's see, hyper mode hurts him. I mean, can we try to catch this thing, I guess? We could. Now we can't. It doesn't matter. Alright, so... SCC at least was harder there. I don't know if I like calling it SEC or SEC. They're both stupid. <laughs> Either way. Let's see what he has to say. Malfunctioning, how could you do this again? Okay. Silliness, alright. How many floors are there? Ground floor? Okay, now we can go to Zen Lab. I guess it just screwed up the first time, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Where's our friend? Yes, and how's my shadow Pokemon coming along? It's coming quite along quite marvelously, Medellis. Uh, it should be done in about a few min... Uh, what is that behind you? If you think I'm gonna fall for an old trick like that... What? How did you... How did you get past SCC? Getting past your drones were no problem. Now you're gonna tell us where Sensei is. Wait, I know who you are. You're that run from Jenner's lab. Did she totally ignore me? I have to admit, you're the last person I would have expected to appear here. Nonetheless, I'm impressed. This is as far as you go, though. Scientists, hold these two up while I get the stage ready. Okay. Well, gentlemen, it's time to show this kid what science can do. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Okay, we're taking them on one at a time, apparently. So I'm guessing they're going to have some moves that are just insanely ridiculous. But we're going to fake out Swoobat. Let Hulucha go to work. And Swoobat flinches. Uh, but Hulucha should outspeed and kill Swoobat next. Uh, should I attack Swoobat just in case? I guess so. Just going to switch in Mianfu. That was dumb. Good thing I targeted down Swoobat, I guess. Heart Stamp is going to do not that much. But I'm going to get double targeted. We're going to knock out Swoobat. Just have to do this all myself, apparently. As we grow to level 29. We're going to knock off Ball Toy. Ooh, Mianfu Fu goes for the fake out. Reciprocating for me. Alright, do we have to take on two more scientists, or is that the only guy we had to take out? Let's see, we're almost at an hour of raw footage. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out. Probably only like 10 minutes tops. Okay, but we have more staff, don't we? Why don't you two block the entrance to the next room? Ha, good luck. Okay. Yes, me and Chow, keep on living so we can use your life source as energy? Jeez. That's a little disheartening. Use recovery component? Sure. I thought that's what our friend was doing. Nemo's energy is being drained from the cage. Jeez. If I, I wonder if changing the variables in their DNA will have some sort of change in their power. If you think you can beat Medellis, then you're sadly mistaken. Okay, well, this is weird. So we'll take on a double battle here. And see what they have to say. They weren't blocking the door very well. I figured they'd stand in front of the door. Okay, I wonder if we should experiment on you. Is that what that guy said? Jeez. This place is crazy. What scientists are okay with this? Ooh. This is a tough battle, actually. Who should I fake out? I guess I have to fake out the electrode. So Halucha doesn't die. So let's see how much damage it can dish out. Aerial Lace on the Muck, fine. Aerial Lace gets disabled, so hopefully it'll target down Electrode. Nope, it'll just get knocked out. Oh, it lived. 
Interesting. Alright, we're double targeting Electrode. Helicha does go down, but we should knock out Electrode here. And then all he has left is Muck. Uh, I guess I should switch out <laughs> into Batman. Blaze Kick will do a good amount. I guess I could have just stayed in. Oh well. Combuskin gets its speed blue boost. We still have speed, actually. Muck goes down. There we go. Go to level 29. Trying to learn Amnesia. No thanks. Call mine? Yes, please. I don't need assurance. At this point. So, I don't know if we're simple or not. I don't think so. But Calm Mind will still be useful. But if we are simple... I should check that, actually. The episode's going on so long that... Might as well. Let's say you got a Twisted Spoon. Strong Willed. Unaware. Okay, fine. Alright, that's good too, I guess. It's just not as good. At least for Calm Mind's sake. Okay, what is this? These recovery components? Sure. Can't go there yet. Got scientists. Should I check this room, I guess? Why isn't it working? Don't hit it, that won't help. Dahlia, try putting up the Y variable up by 10% and try again. Affirmative. Okay, that sounded good. Nope. Damn it, why is the only Pokemon that we won't... Why is this the only Pokemon that won't turn into a Shadow Pokemon? Mr. Mott, or Mime Jr. Damn, you worthless thing. Because it's a fairy type? Oh no, we have to help out that poor Pokemon. I mean, do we? See what you have to say, but I don't understand. You suddenly hear a voice inside your head. Please help me. I don't know how much longer I can take this torture. So much pain. Take the Mime Jr.? Sure. Uh, we won't give it a nickname. Fine, I don't care what you that you took it. I bet it will only hinder you anyway. Okay. It's probably because a fairy type can't get turned into shadow Pokemon or something like that. Let's see. You want a battle, I'm guessing? Would you like to volunteer for human testing? Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds great. Alright, let's see, Donald. He's got a Porygon. Can't really test that. It's just a computer program. But you're about to catch these hands, I know that. And let's Vital Throw, and hopefully he doesn't have, like, Psybeam. Oh. That'll hurt a bit. Alright. We took that relatively well. I was hoping he'd just go for Sharpen or something. Uh, Porygon 2. A little scarier. And Trace Guts. Good to know. Psychic. Jeez. We live it. Huh. Okay. And we KO just like that. Everybody's about to catch these hands. Alright. <laughs> I mean, those hands are just so ridiculous. Looks like he's, like, cold or something, like he got frostbite. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything down here? Is that a Volcanion? Oh, no. That's not good. Volk. Fitz, what are you staring at? Uh, a Pokemon. You don't see it? I guess we can check out here. Who are you? Honestly, I have no problem that you're running around stealing our shadow Pokemon. In a way, you're bringing out their inner power. Isn't that what we wanted anyway? Eh, good point. There's a switch here, but it seems to be locked behind glass. Maybe we have to find another switch first. Okay. Jeez, if we have to battle Vulcanion, I'm going to get my butt kicked. I bet you thought this mountain was a volcano. It's actually man-made. Well, in a way, it was natural. Volcanium was forced to create the lava pools. Jeez. I wonder what would happen if I amplified this by 10? 
Probably blow up the whole mountain. How do you find so many crazy scientists? That's my question. Okay, I guess we can take down this guy for the experience. Over an hour here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'll cut a lot of stuff out, so. Let's see, we got Maria. She's just an analyst. She's not very important. Alright, uh, let's go for... Let's make sure it's sturdy. Does It doesn't have sturdy. There we get rid of it. And then, vital throw. Oh, you want to give me my guts boost? Thanks, man. That was a very friendly thing to do. Magneton, fine. Certainly not going to be taking guts boosted vital throw. And it doesn't have sturdy, it had magnet pull, I guess. Fair enough. I just kind of like using shiny Harayama. Even though it's a little higher leveled now than the rest of the team, I'm okay with that. It's got good typing for the Pokemon we're facing right now, at least. And let's see. I won't let you through here, this is for the sake of science. Whatever, man. Not moving from the spot. Laughing maniacally. <laughs> Joke's on you. I can go up here. Who are you? You look important. Eli, literally, what am I going to do with you? Chardon? Help? What? That's a poor po- Wait, that's not a Pokemon. Can you please, how do you say help? Oh, that's the French dude that we took on. You just dumped him? That's mean. Alrighty. How many trainers do we have here, man? I won't let you... I won't allow you to deactivate the stone pillar. Alright, thanks for telling us what I have to do next, though. That was nice of you. All we wanted to do was find Sensei. I'll be honest. This really wasn't what I had in mind. And maybe get a date with this girl, but... Let's see, we got Roselia and War Turtle. It's a pretty favorable matchup for us. We'll just fake out War Turtle. And which you can take care of Roselia. I don't know why Halucha is using bounce, but all right. Let's go for Vital Throw on War Turtle. Roselia gets knocked out, and Lombre. Interesting. Who's gonna get Water Pulse? We are, of course. That didn't do anything. Alrighty. Tentacruel. That's a little scary. I think I'll switch out. Into Batman. Keeps using Bounce. I guess that's fine. And these Pokemon keep going for Halucha and missing. So I guess it's a good thing. Confusion should be a two-shot. Oh, three-shot. Fair enough. And we get Water Pulsed. We'll go for another Confusion. And we get the Confusion. It's pretty nice. Seem to be getting that a lot. Alrighty. Let's move on here. Defeated Fern and Priscilla. So apparently uh, women can't be scientists in this game. That's very racist, or sexist, racist. <laughs> what am I talking about? Alright. So there's a switch on the statue. Would you like to press it? There was a loud clunking sound from outside. Okay. Bye, Eli. Sorry I can't help you. Too bad, so sad. Was it here? No. This was the Mime Jr. I'm guessing that statue up north will go away or something once we press the other button. And apparently the scientist isn't going to try to stop us. Okay. So 
what did that do? Did it take care of this thing? Yes, it did. Alright, we can go up here. See, that's a puzzle I can handle. Anything else is kind of stupid. Alright, Fitz, it's time to settle this. Let's go. Alrighty. Why didn't we just walk together? Like we have been. Alright, it's nice of you both to show up here today. Frankly, I've had a lot of fun toying with you, Fitz. However, I think our little game needs to end promptly. As much as I don't want to, I must do it. Tilda. I don't know why the Tilda was there. Now feast your eyes, children. You're about to see history before your very own eyes. Fitz, it's time you've been punished for going this far. Activate the Shadowfication Machine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sounded like it didn't work. Oh, maybe it did. Are we taking on a Shadow Vulcanion? Some legendary. Mewtwo, oh god. That's not good. Oh, is, but isn't it beautiful? The very first ultimate Shadow Pokemon, right before our very eyes. It's my own beautiful creation. What, what is that purple glow? It's the collaboration of many great minds. Because of all the scientists here and myself, we were able to create the most powerful po Shadow Pokemon to date. Although, to be fair, I don't think it's 100% complete. It has some things that need to be reconfigured and stuff. Nothing you, should do, you two should really be worried about. Well, if there's a kink in the armor, we can defeat it. Finished or incomplete, it has the power of destroying cities. No, entire regions. It will be a great addition to our roster. This isn't right. Aren't you guys guilty of what you're doing? You're harming innocent Pokemon in the process of changing the genetic code. Shadow Pokemon aren't meant to exist. Shut your mouth. You don't have a clue of what, we're say of what you're saying. If you're ignorant about the facts, then I suggest you keep your li little priss prissy mouth shut. I've had enough of this pointless banner. Mewtwo, prepare yourself. Is he gonna Mega Evolve too? What should we do, Fitz? I know that the Sensei is in here somewhere, but this doesn't look very good for us. I think we should cut our losses and get the hell out. Should we run? Uh... What should we do? I don't think running's a good idea. Well, yeah, we should cut our losses. As if I give you the opportunity to run, I thought you two had some bravery or even a glimpse of dignity to stay and fight. However, it seems that I've overestimated even you, Fitz. Well, I know when I have, um, have a losing battle. It's time, children, the time that we've all been waiting for. Oh, wait, I should really do this before I start. I can't have you snagging our precious Mewtwo, can I? The snagging capabilities in your Pokemon balls have been disabled. Okay. I figured. We wouldn't get away that easily. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. If there's a fight that you can't take on, then just don't take it on. That's what I say. Um, but, let's see. She looks very much like that Team Rocket lady. I was hoping we'd get a double battle with her friend here. But apparently we don't. Wait, what? Why are we loafing around? We have to... Oh no, we didn't get a second badge. Because that asshole hasn't given it to us yet. I mean, how are we supposed to win this? Let's hope we can get a... Poison off? Maybe not. Okay. Let's let Tyrone get a little damage off. I don't think we're supposed to win this. This doesn't seem very fair. Alright. We got one damage off. Shadow fire. Yeah, there's no way to win this. If we can't have a level Pokemon over level 30. Okay. Let's call my... Er... Oh, we can't attract... Yeah. It entered hyper mode. So maybe it'll start hurting itself or something? I mean, I guess that's good. I don't think it matters too much. We can Fury Cutter. Jeez, these moves. It's probably got like 200 power on each thing. If only hyper mode was doing more damage. This is why I decided we should run. 
It's not because I don't have dignity. Let's smoke screen. Alright, that was pointless. Wait, we have to defeat this thing? Okay, no. This is brutal. Fitz, if we don't do something, we're done for. Our sensei's gonna help us out, I'm sure. This is quite fitting. Fitz, did you really think that you could meddle with our plans? You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. Your mother will be glad to know that I destroyed you here and now. Fitz? Oh, did I upset you? Or did I intrigue you? Or did you forget her because you wanted to play hero? That's right, I know where your mother is. It's a shame that you won't ever be able to see her again, because this is where I wipe you off the face of the earth. Goodbye, Fitz. Alita. Mewtwo Shadow Blast. Sensei is going to help us out right here. I will not allow this to continue. Yep. What are you doing here? I've had enough of all this. I don't care what uh, about what happens to me or this place. All I know is that I've given into my resolve. I refuse to obey the likes of you any longer. Kata, what the hell are you doing? That wasn't part of our pact. You're disobeying Madame X. Let go of Mewtwo. Do you really think that you can withstand its power? I do not. I know that my life ends here and now. However, there is hope for us. Fitz, Alita, I'll hold off Mewtwo for now. Obviously, I won't be able to hold it off for long, but I can buy you enough time to destroy their power source. You can do it. Alita, Fitz, I believe in you. No, I won't leave you here. We can defeat them together. Alita, do as I say. As if I would even let any of them walk out of this room. I'll handle both of them if I must. What? Manicham's not afraid of hitting a woman. Alita, go now. Let's go, Fitz. We don't have much time. Okay, let's destroy their power source. You too, Fitz. Thanks, bud. You're the man. Kata, you're a fool. Well, he had a pretty crappy life, so I don't blame him. I don't really know what to think of this situation. In any case, we have to shut off that generator, generator that Sensei mentioned. I'll go up ahead and scope out the area. Okay. Let's see. You should heal your Pokemon before you go any further. We don't know what we'll be up against in the upcoming rooms. Okay. Let's hope nothing too bad. I did not expect this to be such a long episode. What on earth is that thing? A dimensional rift? Yeah, uh-huh. I don't really get it, but it must be some... must be the thing that's powering the lab. Let's get rid of it. Okay. What was that roaring? Oh no, here it comes. I'm guessing it'll be Volcanion. Yep. Well, this is gonna be rough. Maybe level 25 would be nice. 23, even better. Alright, this thing's still gonna be a pain in the ass, though. It downloaded a special, demen special attack boost. That's insane. Now it's a Mega Volcanion. Alright, that did a lot of damage though, so we're good. Water Pulse. Hopefully we obey. That'd be great. That was a crit. Okay. I thought that was just normal damage. Alright, this, this might be our easiest battle yet, to be honest. I'm not going to say too much yet, but I think we got this. Air cutter, and we didn't take it out. Oh, we did. Okay, hung on for a few seconds there. Alrighty. Well, that was easy. Much easier than a Mewtwo. Okay, the power source is down. At least that's what I would say if I noticed any change in lighting. Was that the only thing powering half the lab? Maybe there's a second generator. Okay. I mean, there's a whole hell of a lot of computers. Maybe we should just start ripping stuff out of walls. Let's try going down this corridor. Okay. What's that? Nothing. Are you ready to move forward? Sure. Oh. She's going to team up with us again. Sweet. Okay. I mean, we can see where each little shake in the ground is going to happen. What is up with all these explosions? I wonder if that's Sensei fighting Medallis and that Mewtwo. Most likely. There, that computer might have something to do with the second power source. Just looks like the computer in the last room, but okay. 
Well, this is definitely the second generator that I s theorized, but we need a code in order to neutralize it. But like my friends used to say, ain't no one got time for that. Let's cause some damage. Halucha wrecked the machine with a mighty karate chop. Alrighty. These machines are that sturdy that they can't be destroyed by Halucha's attacks? Why, of course not. Oh. We should have just ran. These are incredibly expensive and high quality machinery. We did foresee the intrusion and raids to destroy or steal our equipment. So we made them virtually indestructible by average Pokemon means. Where's the sensei? Pfft. I had to make Shadow Mewtwo dispose of him, just like the trash he was. Oh, and by the way, your honest concern happened to intrigue me for a bit. So then I thought to myself, why would anyone care so much for an old man like Kata? That's when I realized that only spawn that only spawn of the old coop could ever love such a despicable person. That spawn is you, isn't it? Mary had a little lamb and her name was Alita. <laughs> Sensei, I mean father, told me that separating myself from him would always be best. It's because he was affiliated with the likes of you and Team Zen. Isn't that great? I finally understand why he shoved me away his whole life. It's because he was trying to protect me. Protect you? What could he possibly gain from protecting such a weak-hearted girl? Mewtwo, get that foul Pokemon away from the machine. Uh-oh. Is Halucha gonna die? Halucha, did you see what I did there? Foul? Foul? I cracked myself up with my own jokes. How pitiful. Okay. Mewtwo, come here this instant. You will all perish to shadow Mewtwo's attacks. No, I will not allow that to truly happen. Is this this guy's ghost? Who said that? Oh, it's a girl. Crescent? Of course, what is a cutscene without Crescent coming to save the day? Cutscene? Oh, do not mind what I say. I speak nonsense, I assure you. Okay. Anyways, I think it's time we stop this madness from going on. So you decided to just waltz in here? That's too bad. We planned your capture and everything. It was going mag to be magnificent, so you coming here just means I'm going to hit two birds with one stone. Right, but before we continue talking, Gothadel, please take care of the bigger problem at hand. Oh, destroyed the computer source. And just like that, the second generator has been disengaged. You bitch. Mewtwo, crack her skull in two. Not before I do this, though. It's about ten steps behind here. Mewtwo, can you hear me? Let loose your harnessed soul and release your anguish. I'm here for you now, Crescent Moon. I... Teehee. I shall be controlled no more. Do not betray me. Learn who your master is. Now destroy these fools at once. I'm not yours to have. I, uh... What? Let go of me. This instant. What have you done to my body? seems as though things are quite tense around here. You two being here is quite problematic. You can't be the f you can't get the famous heroes of Cartoonus Mountain Harms can now can we? Do not fear, Fitz. I know what it is, it is you wish to ask of me. There will be a time and a place, but not now. Just tell me where my mom is. Gothitelle, would you be so kind to escort our guests out of the lab? We have a lot of work to do, and I intend to finish the job right here. That gets rid of half the problem. Now to deal with the bigger problem at hand. What is so funny that makes you giggle so, Gothitel? I hope you didn't play with their lives. What? <laughs> Crescent seems like a partial antagonist. Doesn't seem fully good. What the hell is going on here, Natasha? We've been losing important assets left, and right now, ever since the attack on the SS Oceana, one of them being the most important, Malia. What are we supposed to do now that we've lost something so incredibly vital? Not only that, but Zeta has ca been captured by Crescent. Zeta is the only one capable of creating the dimensional rifts. Calm yourselves, Gira. There's no need to shout. We can all hear you. Don't shout. I think it's pretty much in the okay to shout as loud as I can. The worthless trash Medalis failed her mission as well. I'm not exactly sure why you guys are so calm. Speaking of trash... Oh, she lived it? Would you just shut up, Gira? I can hear your banter from the other room. I don't think that you're in the right spot to tell me to shut up. Gira, shut up. Urk? Sorry, Natasha. 
It's great to see that you finally ha show your face after oh, your oh so horrible defeat. Care to give us all some insight? Ugh, I need a drink. That's your insight. I am in Dallas. I think it would be smarter if you answered Natasha. Well, if you really want to know what happened, which we don't, I got caught up with a traitor. Oh, a traitor amongst us? Well, there was a traitor. I disposed of him. Kata tried to re retaliate against me back at the lab. You let an old man get the best of you? Pfft. Obviously not. After I disposed of him, I went after the children. Then when I finally cornered them, they have done too much damage to the system already. Are you telling me the children are responsible for your, for your failure? Well, no, not completely. Crescent showed up after I almost got rid of them. Crescent? But what are the children? They must have power if they were able to take out a dimensional rift. Their names were Fitz and Alita. Fitz and Alita. We should dispose of them accordingly. They're wretched children. They definitely have power on their hands. We should be careful and plot their movements. Screw that. Natasha, let me handle them. I'm bored of being stuck in it here in this room all the time anyway. If you wish, go right ahead. Yeah, we can't afford to anger Madame X any further. Yeah, that'd be... What? Not good? What the? That's the kid. That's Fitz. It's you. Don't worry, I got him. And they're gone. Oh, Crescent was just... Or, Gothitelle was just screwing with them? I guess that's cool. Now we know with the faces of our attackers. Fitz! Thank God you're all right. Fitz, where have you been? I haven't seen you since what happened at Karatos Mountain. That was about a week ago. About a week ago! Huh? What do you mean? It's only been a few minutes. Fitz, it's definitely been a week since I last saw you. Maybe maybe that Gothitelle had something to do with that. Oh well, what matters is that you're okay. I thought something happened to you. Anyway, Fitz, what Medalla said, look, it doesn't matter. I know Sensei, my father did some horrible things, but I've forgiven him and you should too. He saved our lives. But you should, you saved my life back there too. If you went alone, if I went alone and I didn't, if I went alone, I don't know what would have happened. Sorry, I'm loopy. It's been an hour and 30 minutes of recording. So to return the favor, I took the liberty of researching those shadow Pokemon we saw inside the mountain. The eldest and I talked about, we may have some info that may interest you. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, we'll do that and then end the episode. I might have cut this up a little bit. Ah, hello there, Fitz. I've heard about your efforts in Keratos Mountain, and I thank you for them. But this is of another matter. I heard the Shadow Pokemon have returned. I once heard of a region far away from here that had trouble with Shadow Pokemon. The uh, three brave heroes stepped up to the plate, saved the region from the evil of Shadow Pokemon. Their efforts in purifying Shadow Pokemon have not uh, spread throughout the world, okay? However, I, they, I may have something that may be of use. Got the Time Flute. Time Flute has the power to open up any Pokemon's heart, however, opening up their heart is only the beginning of the process. We must go and perform the purification ceremony. Okay, come on, Fitz. Should I bring some Shadow Pokemon? I guess I will. I'm guessing that's the point. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So I took out Shadow Bonsly and Shadow Fenelite. And let's see what this lady has to say. There is a secret that only Kata and I know about in this village. Observe. Agar Sabinctus. Some sort of Latin that I don't remember. Oh ho ho, thought it was uh, I was all washed up, huh? Through this small cavern lies a sacred shrine where Pokemon are at one with nature. I shall meet you all inside. This is really something, Fitz. I've lived here all my life and never knew about the place. Okay. Fair enough. No Pokemon, please. Stone is unresponsive. What's that even mean? What stones are responsive? Ah, uh, Fitz, this is the sacred forest that I mentioned before. You can come here anytime and purify your shadow Pokemon. Including that, I have notified that the purification chamber is now online in Pokemon centers. Please come anytime. There's a Pokemon that may open its door to it, toward you, its heart. Okay. Cool. Regain the move Rock Throw. Grew to level 21. We won't give it a nickname. Wait, Fitz. Did Mandalus do something to your snag machine? Remember, before we fought Shadow Mewtwo, she definitely did something to it. Crap, what are we going to do, Fitz? Can't you fix it or something? I see. The one who made it isn't around anymore. 
Well, what the heck do we do? May I suggest something? There's a gym leader named Saki who lives on the other half of a VM. She's quite handed with mechanical stuff such as your snag machine. However, I heard she was taking a visit to Aquana Town up north. If you take the west gate from Sheridan and go through Route 3, you'll reach a town called Golden Leaf. Great, I'll start heading over there now. But I must warn you, they are... No need to worry, Aldous. I have things under control. I'm going to make my way over there right now. I would travel with you, Fitz, but I think traveling on my own will make me stronger. Okay. Um, Fitz, I must warn you about Golden Leaf Town. Apparently something tragic that happened a few years back. They aren't very too keen... They aren't too keen with outsiders. I've heard horror stories with tourists. Just be safe and look after Alita, please. Okay. Can we use this? Okay, I want to purify vanilla. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, maybe I'll use vanilla. Let's see how many levels it gains. Not much. Uh, we'll give it a nickname. Let's think. Banana Split. Uh, let's think. What's better? Blizzard? Alright, I'm thinking the Dairy Queen treat, not the move in Pokemon. So anyway, in the next episode, we will head towards uh, Golden Leaf Town, Village, whatever it's called. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching a long episode, a really long episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Meet me at the Amethyst Grotto. Okay, so maybe we'll do that next episode first. Either way, we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.